everybody, I'm Kaylee. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you've not been here before, thanks for finding me. I am Kaylee, and I come on here and do different beauty and fashion videos. Um, I did miss last Monday. Monday, I think it was. Um, I had a lot of dental work done this week. And if you can't tell, I'm still a little swollen over here. It, it was a lot. So I'm just in a little bit of... Um, discomfort I guess and I really didn't feel like making a video but I feel better now um, I have both of my new tattoos I had gotten those so we'll talk about those while I'm doing um, my makeup today but before I get going if you could like subscribe and comment I would appreciate it so much and I'll get on with this get ready with me type video um, I had done one of these recently it was a get ready with me um, and drugstore makeup and I recently went back to the drugstore and found some more goodies so I'm doing another one a drugstore makeup video and this is with um, all almost all different products so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna go in with the elf mint melt cooling face primer so I went and got my tattoos done and it was great um, I'll put pictures over here of both of them. The flowers behind my ear. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. And that is a flower that my grandmother like hand. It's a very gel, this mint melt. It's very like goopy. Um, but the flower is something that she draws on everything she signs. So it's like part of her signature. So I had it taken. Um, that exact flower that she's drew on one of the letters that I have and they shrunk it down and traced it and put it on my um, behind my ear and then me and one of my really good friends got matching snakes on our leg and <laughs> I'm not really in the position to like kick up my leg but I'll put a picture over here <laughs> but that is our snake um, I had a good experience I will say my skin isn't like handling the yellow very well so it's almost like my body is like pushing out the yellow which sucks because yellow is my favorite color but um it is what it is it's healing fine i don't see any sign of infection so um the mint melt i look very shiny it is goopy like sticky which means the makeup will really stick to it um i do feel like a little bit of tingling like a cooling sensation nothing like crazy or painful or anything like that I'll put the price over here but it was not that expensive and honestly I like it a lot better than the um, there's one that everybody really uses a lot and I can't think of the name I'll put it over here when I figure out what it is but I was not a fan of it I used it a couple times and then the more and more I use it the more I just didn't like it and this is like a lighter version of that which is perfect for me if that makes sense so the elf um mint and then now i'm going to go in with my concealer and i have the super stay maybelline concealer full coverage and this is in the color 20 which may be a little bit too dark for me but we're gonna we're gonna make it work so i just put concealer lifting upwards on all my pieces of my face and then I'm gonna take a beauty blender today and blend that out I think the last video I used brushes today is like just a mix it's whatever whatever oh wait so with my teeth they had to um, fit me for another crown and fill a few cavities so they had to give me a ton of shots to numb me and I have a very high metabolism when it comes to that um, and my body kept like eating up the medication so I kept unnumbing which first of all is scary especially when you're already scared of the dentist to like keep unnumbing <laughs> is terrifying um, but that's what happened and so they kept having to give me more shots so over here I don't even know how many shots I got and they were in the top of my mouth which um, I've had enough 
dental work done to know that that's like the worst spot again it's honestly very <laughs> tender so yeah I had lots of shots um, and then the actual work done on those teeth over there it's just it's been rough on my face on the side of my face like I have to be very careful all right so that is with one like dip of the concealer I honestly the color is a little dark for me it does a pretty good job but I will say like blending it out either because of the the elf primer or because of the product itself it's just not moving very easily I'm going to take another concealer I have from the drugstore it's L'Oreal true match and it's eye cream and a concealer so this is an eye cream and a concealer um, to be used as a concealer <coughs> pardon me so I'm gonna try this a little bit and see if it blends a little bit better on this um, on this elf primer Lord I can't even um, or if it's because of the primer that nothing is like working well this is definitely too dark what shade did I get in this this is light in three neutral three light and guys this looks darker than the the sand or whatever I had um, in the beginning I will say this seems to be thinner which with my issue of spreading it around is not um, it's not an issue right now it's actually spreading pretty easily I'm guessing because it's thinner but that primer is like gripping everything and making it hard to um to like really blend especially with this sponge I will say I don't mind it like it's the fact that it's gripping and holding the makeup is good yes um, and I do I look very like glossy but yeah I don't know how I feel about those concealers I think both of them are the wrong shade for me but I will say for me I'm having better with the true match at um, the L'Oreal at blending it out so now I'm gonna go in with my foundation I have the cover girl in 840 natural beige it's the extreme wear 3 in 1 foundation full coverage um, SPF it's only 18 but that's still better than nothing and it says it's 24 hour wear 24 hour wear I don't know about that but um, we are going to go ahead and dip right in now I will say none of the n neither of the concealers like had a weird smell this has a very like foundation smell like that I don't know it smells kind of strong the concealer did not the concealers didn't really have any smell that I noticed to be like strong or even unpleasant at all okay so I'm going to show you on my forehead this half is the foundation I've blended out and this half is without you can definitely tell it is covering well in one um, in one dip and one go around the face which is good I still look very dewy um, I'm guessing from the primer it's just got me like on full dewy look very shiny some people like that some people don't I am usually go more matte but a little bit of dewy here lately isn't bothering me um, but I will say that it's to be noted like you it, the primer definitely makes you dewy and if that's not the look you want then this is not for you the, like it is not the primer for you if you don't mind a dewy a sticky primer then uh, this is for you I mean I will say it's gripping onto the product very well like most of my scarring is pretty well covered um, which I do think this foundation the covergirl outlast 
is doing a really good job. Um, I actually really like this foundation at the moment, but I think the primer is, I mean, you're, you're only as good as your base. And I do think that this primer is like super holding on to my, super well at holding on to my makeup. <laughs> All right. So there is what I've got so far. It's covered up most of my flaws. I will say that my under eyes have looked better, but once I powder them, maybe it'll look a little better. I'm just going to make sure I follow down to my neck and hit my ears again so it blends well. All right. I will say I think that is a good base so far. I'm going to go ahead and go in with powder. Now, I have a few options for powder. I think I'm going to try this one. This is the uh, L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. And this is actually a foundation and a powder. So, and then I have other powders. So I'm going to take the foundation, the infallible foundation and a powder. And I'm going to just use that on like my cheeks where my, um, my acne and my scarring is. Since it says it's a foundation and a powder, it'll give me some more coverage. Ooh, I mean it really does and then I'm gonna take it and put a little bit underneath my eye I mean I think that looks really good and covered like I I feel very covered that's an infallible what is the other infallible L'Oreal Paris I also have the Maybelline fit me and it is the natural beige powder so maybe i'll try some of this on my forehead in my chin area okay so i'm gonna say both of these powders i really like like both of them are leaving the patches of skin that I'm placing it on better than before. Like my skin looks very nice right now. I'm like very happy at the moment with how my skin is sitting, especially since it was pretty, um, it's been pretty broken out lately. Won't even lie. All right. So those are the powders, the infallible, um, L'Oreal and the Maybelline fit me. Um, I really do like both of those and they seem to be working very well. Okay, so now I'm going to be moving on to the bronzer, and I have the Phys Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in, oh, 6676 bronzer, and it says Muru Muru, I don't know, but that is the one that I have today, and if you've never gotten physician's formula before it smells like like that coconutty summer smell like just that day on the beach smell all right so I'm gonna take a little bit and deepen this area in my cheeks and upward it's a very pretty warm tone and same thing over here I mean, it's very pretty and it smells just so good like like those expensive tanning lotions that everybody always um, bought when they went tanning in the little packets do you know what I'm at the tanning salon or I mean some people have the bottles I bought I buy the little packets because I didn't go tanning that often um, to need a whole freaking bottle but it smells like that expensive like glow tanning lotion you know smells very good to me all right so i love that love it and if you haven't tried physicians formula they actually have a lot of good products um i mean they they have some that i'm not like the biggest fan of but they definitely have some that are worth checking into and definitely worth it for the price because they're not that expensive 
I will say at the drugstore, they're like one of the more expensive drugstore brands, but they're still a drugstore brand. All right, so the next item is blush, and I'm gonna go in with my Pacifica Coconut Blush. And I'm gonna go in with this color right here, the darker, and just put that right in that area. I will say sometimes when it looks a little harsh to me, I'll take my um, beauty sponge that still has a little bit of product on it, you know, and just kind of blend that out a little bit. And then I'll go in on the other side. So, other than the dentist and tattoos, I um, have had my first COVID shot, so I get my second one soon. And my in-laws have had both of theirs, so we're actually able to, like, see them without being too worried about it right now, which is very nice. Um, and the kids have missed their grandparents, so it is getting better. Things at work are still, you know, you have to wear masks, and people are still fighting me on it, and it is slightly irritating, but it's just, it is what it is. Hi, pumpkin! That's my cat, Roland. He likes to sit up in the window. All right. So that is everything so far. That is everything so far. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And I used this in the last video. Um, but it's the Revlon Skin Lights. And it's the Prismatic Highlighter. And this is in 201. Glimmer Daybreak. And I really do like this, um, this highlight. It goes on well. It's not anything too, like, too crazy. And it's like a glowy. It's very pretty. So there is that. The Revlon Skin Light. So you can't see anything with the light. There we go. All right. So we have made it to the lips. And I honestly, well, the lips and the eyes. I don't know. I'm going to go with the eyes first because I just, I'm, I'm unsure about other, other things. All right. So I'm going to take my NYX and this is the control freak and it is the eyebrow gel and clear. And I honestly just use this and brush it up. I don't really do anything other than that with my brows since I got the microbladed. Thank goodness. I love the microblading. I swear if you are thinking about it, do it like I hated doing my eyebrows it was terrible absolutely terrible um I'm also very over dramatic but I really I hated it and I definitely feel like it's just so much easier getting ready nowadays I just do that all right so now we are going I'm gonna go ahead and do lips I'm gonna get it over with and I think I'm going to I wasn't gonna put a color on because like we wear masks lately so um, so if you don't want to do a color, I have the Lifter Gloss Maybelline New York, and it is an hyaluronic, um, formula, hyaluronic acid. It's a thick brush, and I'm going to put this just, it's like a nudie, shimmery pink. It's very pretty. And that was one of the glosses that I had recently picked up. Um, another one is a lip plumping gloss, and this is Mint Melt. Um, this is from the e.l.f. Mint Collection, the same one that the primer I'm wearing um, was in, and this is Mint Chocolate. So this is like a nudie gloss. It's got a little bit more color to it. Um, very pretty. And then I picked up this lipstick, and this is the Marvel. Um, it's got Iron Man on it. But this color is so pretty. And it's like that chocolatey. But I'm going to tell you about this um, lipstick right here. This Maybelline Marvel. I don't even know. It's in the color 75 Fighter lip color. Okay, so this is it. I put this. We were playing um, makeup salon with me and my kids were. And I'll do their makeup. I'm trying to find my makeup remover to take this off. Um, but I will do their makeup. And I put this on both of them yesterday. And it made it through pizza, 
twice because they had they came back for like second helpings um so it made it through the pizza twice so eating twice playing um and then kids in general you know like they touch their face they wipe their like mouth i don't know they just don't makeup doesn't last well on them um for cheerleading last year i actually had to get like a super lasting like almost impossible to get off lipstick just because she would smear it so often but I'm telling you guys, this lasted hours on my children. When they were drinking, it barely came off. So, I was just so impressed that I decided I would have to try this for you all. It's a very pretty color. And honestly, the smell is nice too. The applicator is nice because it does have that like little pool in the middle that holds more product that is the lip I'm just gonna clean up the sides so I will say when you first put this on it's a little sticky just a little um, but it dries down and it dries down to the point where you like don't really feel it if that makes sense so it dries down to like a um, like a very light feeling which is crazy because I will say when you put it on it feels very like thick but as it's drying it's like almost unnoticeable alright so that is that lipstick and I really like the color 75 fighter it's like this brown I don't know it's really cute I, I really like it <laughs> But that is the lips. Now I'm going to go in with the eyes. And this time I am just going to do um, a little bit of liner. And then my mascara. I know that's weird. Um, but it's what I decided to do. Now this is the Joa Lineup Liquid Eyeliner. And I have used this before on my Influencer box. Um, but this is a brand you can buy at, at a few different drugstores, <clears throat> and it's a very good brand. And this is just a black liquid um, eyeliner. Okay, I just finished my eyeliner with my Joa liquid pen um very pigmented very um precise All right so then the mascara i'm going to use is the maybelline new york sky high and i'm using this because everybody is like this has been everywhere and i've been seeing it um the brush is the like why can't i think the short bristles <laughs> And it's like the plasticky type of bristle. I will say this is coating my lashes very well, but it does look wet. And I'm trying to be careful because it looks like it may clump. Like, see, I'm getting little clumps. All right, I'm going to go to the other eye. Same thing. So difficult. I just don't want it to like get all over my makeup and um or all over my face and mess up. I will say it's easier when you don't have eyeshadow on though. Every time I put on mascara and I've got eyeshadow, I feel like I do something. Alright, it does make my bottom lashes look very nice. I will say I like the how noticeable those bottom lashes are. Honestly with COVID and my face being the only thing showing my eyes have to look pretty, um, pretty good, you know. It's really the only thing people see of me most of the time. All right. So, I have the Sky High Maybelline, Maybelline Mascara on. And I will say, I feel like it, um, did a good job. It is still wet. So, it just takes a minute to dry. So, just be careful. But the length you get is very nice and I will say it gives me some curl so I'm not mad at it I'm really not all right guys so that is my finished look
I think it looks good. I'm happy with it. Um, so I don't know where my setting spray is from Elf. It's like lost, guys. Gone. So I'm going to use my one hit. This is the only thing that's not drugstore. Sorry. I said I found everything, and then when I looked for my setting spray, I was mistaken. All right. So this is the final drugstore look. Um, I will say this is much better than the last one. Like, I'm very, like, I felt like after my last one, I was like, I don't really like how that came out. I want to do another one. All different products. And this time, they didn't let me down at all. Everything looks fabulous. So I made sure to put everything, like, the prices over here and what I used. Um, but yeah, this is the final look. And I'm very happy. And I feel like I look nice. So now I'm going to get ready for work and go make some money, hopefully. So I thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.